Praxis Prepper. Everybody, this is Praxis. With everything going on in the world right now, there are a lot of new people coming to prepping and preparedness, except not at all. I mean, literally not at all. There are so many new people watching prepping and preparedness videos, but I think the, the concept of preparedness really eludes the vast majority of them, and many people who have been into prepping and preparedness for a while. Uh, it's it, really what most people who are jumping into this field are doing are, is being reactionary. You know, seeing some a problem that's present that's happening right now, like, oh, gas prices are going up, or, you know, food prices are going up, and then reacting against that. And kudos to you for doing anything. I mean, for there's nothing wrong with reacting to a situation. That's what we should do. You know, if something comes up that's unexpected, you should react to it. But the idea of prepping and preparedness is not that at all. People, uh, you know, poo-poo preppers all the time for being like, you know, they're, they're stockpiling stuff, they're hoarding stuff, you know, there's shortages and the preppers are out there and they're grabbing everything. Those aren't preppers. The preppers were the people that bought the stuff when there weren't shortages, when the stuff was cheap, and preppers are not the people you have to worry about. It's the reactionary people that are jumping into stuff now. Then That is not prepping. That is not preparedness. That is reacting. And again, kudos to you for reacting and doing something. There's so many people who just kind of sit back and they pretend that nothing's happening at all and they just, well, they don't do anything. And, you know, so it's good that people at least do something. You know, that's what a life form should do is if there is some sort of a challenge, it should rise to meet it, but it's not prepping and it's not preparedness. You, you know, if you were going to take the SAT test, you know, I don't even know if they do the SATs anymore, but back when I was going into college, there were SATs and there were uh, these classes called SAT prep courses. Uh, now, I don't know, I didn't take one, but my presumption is that you didn't take the SAT prep class while you were taking the SAT. That would kind of defeat the purpose of preparing for the SAT ahead of time if you were taking the preparedness class while you're actually doing the SAT. You see where I'm going with this. The idea of reacting day by day to what's happening right now, that's not prepping and that's not preparedness. There are many people that are jumping into this field and they're like, this sucks. You know, I'm like, I'm worrying about all these things and I'm going out and I'm paying all this money for all this stuff. Um, that's because you're not actually preparing, you're reacting to things. Uh, I, I got a comment from someone recently, they said, I tried the prepping thing, but it was a huge waste of time. I ended up throwing out just a bunch of stuff. I don't even know what they meant by that, but so much of what people do that they think is prepping and they think is preparedness is, is literally that. It's just going out and buying a bunch of, let's be honest, shit that like, you know, promises like, you know, you can start a fire with your like whatever, or, you know, it'll purify water from, you know, your toilet or, you know, there's all these like, there's products that, you know, is in Western culture, we've gotten into the mindset that if you have a problem, you throw money at it and the money makes it go away. You know, we buy a product to solve our problems and that is an approach. But it's not the only approach, and I would advocate that it's not the best approach. If you are new to prepping and preparedness, welcome. It's a wonderful way of living your life. It's a wonderful way of saving money. A lot of people talk about how they wasted so much money getting into pre uh, prepping and preparedness. Well, the, the, big, the biggest expenses, I think, in most prepping and preparedness uh, are things are buying things that you think that you would need someday. And the most important things uh, along those lines are probably food. And if you're buying food, you're gonna eat it eventually. Even if nothing ever happens, and you know, the last year has proven me wrong. <laughs> if that was my projection like a year ago that like, you know, nothing may happen. Uh, but even, you know, going on into the future, if, if nothing ever happens again, you're gonna eat your food anyway. And if you buy stuff in bulk and you buy stuff ahead of time and you buy stuff before the shortages happen, you're almost certainly gonna save money. Prepping and preparedness isn't about thinking about what's the big headline news story, like, oh, there's hackers doing X, Y, or Z, or the food, uh, you know, the prices of this commodity have gone up. Prepping and preparedness is looking out into your future, thinking about the challenges that you might face in the future, thinking about your future needs, thinking ahead of time about things that you might wish that you had and getting those things now. Getting those things when it's easy to get them, getting those things when it's cheap to get them. I'll give you an example right now. It's not in the news at all at the moment that there could be some kind of a nuclear exchange. Now, I've, 
the threat of nuclear exchanges historically has seemed like it's been pretty low. There have only been a couple of instances throughout history where there has been an environment which has been destroyed, uh, well, a populated environment. We've had plenty of nuclear tests, unfortunately. Uh, but there have only been a couple of instances where a populated environment has been heavily polluted with nuclear radiation, or, you know, nuclear fallout. Uh, that's happened, at, you, know, you know, when nuclear power plants have, uh, you know, uh, had issues, <laughs> to put it mildly. That's happened when, uh, you know, unfortunately, nuclear bombs were dropped on populated uh, populations. It's happened very rarely. It's not in the news right now, but just recently I bought some gear that would allow me to have an easier time if there was ever a situation where myself and my surrounding at my home, if I ever had to face nuclear fallout material, I bought some materials that would help me with that. Uh, I, you know, we don't have to go into the specifics, but the idea is that that's not something that's in the news right now. That's not something that people are warning there's about to be a nuclear exchange, but I'm thinking ahead to that type of thing. Now, if there was a headline suddenly that said something like possibility of nuclear exchange between X, Y, or Z, different nations, or if a nuclear power plant failed and people were suddenly realizing that their homes were in the path of potential you know, fallout from that melting down nuclear power plant, suddenly the items that I just bought the other day would go way up in price. The idea of prepping and preparedness is to buy stuff early ahead of time when the costs are not that high. And if you want to focus on stuff that you're not going to be wasting your money on, think of food because you're always going to eat food. And as long as you're not buying food that's going to spoil or go bad or something like that, and you cycle through it, you're going to make your life a lot easier. You're going to make your life a lot cheaper. So if you're new to prepping and preparedness, think forward into the future of stuff that you're going to need. Think that you're of stuff that you're absolutely going to need and buy it now. Once you have that kind of stuff, like I've got food for three months or I've got food for six months or I've got food for a year. Great. Then start thinking about the other things, the things that might happen. You know, there's no might in terms of, you know, maybe next year I might want to eat. Yeah, there's no might to that, but maybe next year I might want to have, who knows? Use your imagination, use history, look through history, Th see the things that have uh, happened in the past. Not just, you know, in the Western world, look at things that have happened, you know, horribly in other parts of the world. Use that as a guide. But again, start with things that you know are going to happen. You know, I know a year from now, I'm going to want to eat food. Start with that and then go to the things that might happen. You'll find that prepping and preparedness isn't about wasting a bunch of money, buying a bunch of crap that you don't need. Prepping and preparedness is about getting stuff when it's easy to get, getting stuff when it's cheap to get. If you do prepping and preparedness right, you're gonna save a whole lot of money and then have a whole lot more peace of mind. That's it, thanks for watching. This episode is brought to you in part by Burning Hearth Homestead, a nonprofit that aims to provide seeds, live plants, and education to the community, both local and extended. Plant seeds, plant knowledge, plant the future. If you'd like to thank them for supporting this channel or find out more about what they do, go to burninghearthhomestead.org. Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.